Hey there, Mustangs. Miss Jones here, and we're going to continue reading Liberty Porter, First Daughter, Chapter 17. Presenting the President and the First Lady, the announcer announced, our honored guests of the first ever Liberty Ball. The night of a new president's inauguration, there are lots of fancy balls around Washington. The President and First Lady get all dressed up and dance the night away. So I don't know if you know, but next week on January 20th, the United States of America, they're actually going to be swearing in and having the inauguration of our new president, President Joe Biden, and our new vice president, Pre Vice President Kamala Harris. So that will be happening on January 20th. Okay, so this one wasn't exactly a real ball. Liberty had made up her own Porter family party. It was taking place in Liberty's new home in the hallway near her bedroom. The guests were Liberty and her parents and the beanie dogs that were lined up along the walls. The announcer was Liberty talking into her battery-operated pop star microphone. Liberty had put on a velvet jacket over her party dress. It had a pocket that was pr a perfect fit for her sugar glider. Now the sugar glider could be part of the festivities too. Liberty started singing the Hail to the Chief song. Do 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 do. Franklin sang along. Arroo, arroo. Her father and mother stepped out into the hallway from the kitchen. Her father twirled her mother around as Liberty clapped for them. Her father looked all fancy in a tuxedo. Her mom looked beautiful in a deep blue gown. Liberty ran over and turned on her MP3 player. And then her father started doing the bump with her mom. And then he turned around and bumped Liberty. And then her parents took her hands and all three of them were dancing around. Past Lincoln bedroom, past the queen's bedroom. Prestastic, Liberty said. And then Liberty looked up and saw Sam and James. Welcome to the Liberty Ball, Liberty said to them. She looked down the hall. Her parents were now twirling around, first dancing, then movies and snacks. Liberty's parents had let her pick out some movies to watch in the White House movie theater. Liberty invited the kids from the tour whose parents worked for her dad too, even cheese fries. Guess what, Liberty said to James. We're going to the chocolate shop to make our own sundaes. The flavors are chocolate, cookie dough, and blue super moon. I'm not allowed to have blue ice cream, James said. It stains my lips blue. You are if your mother says you can, Liberty said. I even asked her. I never get to have blue ice cream, James said happily. We'll be celebrating, but first we have some secret official business, Liberty said. Liberty pulled James off to the side of the hallway. She gave Sam the planned signal. Sam crossed his arms and looked official. James Piffle, the Liberty, Liberty said in a serious voice, you have proved yourself an official patriot, patriotical person today. You assisted the secret assistant to the president today, and you show bravery with the dogs. Sam turned to James. Upon official request of the first daughter, Sam said, the secret, secret service is giving you a secret code name. Really, James said, my own code name? Unofficial, but still excellent, Sam said. Your code name is Whippet. A Whippet is a dog that's shy and sensitive at first, Liberty told him, but gets braver and is really loyal to its friends. Whippet, James said. I like it. Franklin barked. Franklin, I didn't forget about you, Liberty said. You are my new secret canine rover assistant to the president. Scrap, your official code name is Scraps. Franklin liked that, definitely. Liberty's parents were twirling their way back down the hallway toward everyone. Announcing guests James Piffle and secret agent man Sam, Liberty said loudly. James, Sam, Liberty's parents waltzed over to them. Welcome, please join us in a dance. Thank you, but I'm a horrible dancer, said James. You may be a bad dancer, but you are a good slider, Liberty shouted. Come see the best slide ever. It was better than the bully alley lane, better than the East Room shiny floor. There was a ramp to a room called the Sol Solarium, and you could slide all the way down on your butt. Sam took Liberty's velvet jacket and sugar, sugar glider for her. Liberty took a running start and slid. James took a running start and slid. They slid three times. Then Liberty's, Liberty's felt a buzz in her pocket, her cell phone. She read a text from her father. Please join me for a father-daughter dance. POTUS. Remember, POTUS means President of the United States. Liberty and James went back up to see them, and Liberty ran almost right into Chief Usher Lee. And oh, Miss Crumb. Miss Crumb was dressed in a long, fancy red ball gown. I hear there's an exciting ball going on up here, Chief Usher Lee smiled. Yes, well, it's almost time for your parents to leave for the balls, Miss Crumb said. Attention, everyone, Liberty yelled, presenting Miss Crumb and Chief Usher Lee, guest of the Liberty Ball. Thank you, but I wasn't planning to stay, Miss Crumb said. You can't miss the first ever Liberty Ball, Liberty said. It's a very exclusive invitation. Liberty grabbed and started on Miss Crumb's hand to keep her from leaving. Just in time for our last dance, Liberty's father said when he saw them. It's the president and the first daughter, father-daughter dance. Liberty's father bowed to her. She curtsied. She took her hands. He took her hands. She put her feet on his shoes 
and he started to dance. Liberty's mother clapped as Liberty's father twirled her down the hall. They twirled past her bedroom. I think the Liberty Ball will be my favorite tonight, her father said. I've danced with two of my favorite people in the world. Yay, Liberty said as they twirled past the Queen's bedroom and the Lincoln bedroom. You have represented the kids of America well today, her father said. Do you think that Miss Crumb thinks so too, Liberty asked? Her job is to walk, watch over my business and not yours, her father said. However, I firmly believe anyone who gets to spend time with you will grow to appreciate you. They twirled back down the hallway as the sugar glider peeked its head out of Liberty's pocket. So have you thought of a name for your new pet, her father asked. I can't think of the perfect one, Liberty said. Any ideas? I always thought George Washington had an interesting name for his pet dog, her father said. I know, Liberty said. Sweet lips. However, Liberty said it too loudly and just as they were dancing by Miss Crumb. Excuse me, Miss Crumb asked. Did you call me Sweet Lips? Um, Liberty said. She looked at her father. He was trying hard not to laugh. I did try new lipstick, Miss Crumb said. And it looks really sweet, Liberty said. And that's why I said that, because I thought your new, new secret code name could be Sweet Lips. I thought you could have a code name, too. I didn't want you to feel left out. Why, thank you, Ruffles, Miss Crumb said. That's very thoughtful of you. Liberty's father twirled her off down the hall, and then they totally started cracking up. That was rather brilliant, her father said. See, I knew you would win over even Miss Crumb. You mean Sweet Lips, Liberty said, and cracked up again. I guess we have to think up a new name for the sugar glider, her father said. Sweet Lips is taken. I know, Liberty said. Maybe we could ask the kids of America to vote. Can we ask on a website or something? Sounds like a great idea, her father agreed. We'll put it up on our website. Just then, a new song came on from down the hall. It was a fast and dancey song. I think it's been a successful inauguration day, Liberty's father said. I couldn't have done it without you, first daughter. Really? He couldn't have done it without her? They danced back up the hallway. Her mother was dancing with Chief Usher Lee. James was sort of dancing next to Franklin, and Sam was dancing with Miss Crumb, and everyone was smiling. Prestastic, said Liberty, and first daughter, fantabulous. All right, Mustangs, that is the end of chapter 17. Until next time, take care.